Wizard of Oz by Frank Baum tells the story of Dorothy, a girl from Kansas whose home is swept up in a tornado and suddenly finds itself in the magical land of Oz. The little old woman took the slate from her nose and having read the words on it asked, Is your name Dorothy, my dear? Yes, answered the child, looking up and drying her tears. Then you must go to the City of Emeralds. Perhaps Oz will help you. Where is this city? asked Dorothy. It is exactly in the centre of the country and is ruled by Oz, the great wizard I told you of. Is he a good man? inquired the girl anxiously. He is a good wizard. Whether he is a man or not, I cannot tell, for I have never seen him. How can I get there? asked Dorothy. You must walk. It is a long journey through a country that is sometimes pleasant and sometimes dark and terrible. However, I will use all the magic arts I know of to keep you from harm. Won't you go with me, pleaded the girl, who had begun to look upon the little old woman as her only friend. No, I cannot do that, she replied. But I will give you my kiss and no one will dare injure a person who has been kissed by the Witch of the North. She came close to Dorothy and kissed her gently on the forehead. Where her lips touched the girl, they left a round, shining mark, as Dorothy found out soon after. The road to the City of Emeralds is paved with yellow brick, said the witch, so you cannot miss it. When you get to Oz, do not be afraid of him, but tell your story and ask him to help you. Goodbye, my dear. The three munchkins bowed low to her and wished her a pleasant journey, after which they walked away through the trees. The witch gave Dorothy a friendly little nod, whirled around on her left heel three times and straight away disappeared, much to the surprise of little Toto, who barked after her loudly enough when she had gone, because he had been afraid to even growl while she stood by. But Dorothy, knowing her to be a witch, had expected her to disappear in just that way and was not surprised in the least.